Today I'm gonna to talk you guys through how down payments work and how you can calculate what um, down payment you would need for a particular property, okay? So a down payment is basically a percentage of the total amount that you're borrowing that a lender will require that you bring to the table um, in order for them to basically give you the rest of the money, okay? And, and, and allow you to buy whatever property it is you want to buy. Now, the percentage that is required depends upon the, the loan program you're participating in, the type of loan you're getting, um, and what sort of property it is. If it is a property that you intend to live in and it's gonna be a primary residence, then the down payment on that is gonna be less than what it would be if you were purchasing an investment property. Um, that is because you know primary residences are considered less risky investments for banks because you're living there and most people will pay for wherever they live before they pay for a property over there that they are not living in okay which will be an investment property all right so like I said the percentage required depends upon the loan type now there are a variety of loan types there are a variety of programs, incentives, all of that stuff that banks may offer. It's up to you to you know, navigate through that or consult with a professional so they can help you identify which loan type is gonna be best for you, okay? And the type of property that you're, uh, that you're looking to acquire. But in this example, I'm gonna use some really round numbers because that just makes the math easy. Um, so let's say you're buying this property and it's $100,000, okay? Now, if you're buying this as a primary residence and you're using an FHA loan, which FHA is a, is, is a loan program, a very common type of loan that, uh, that, banks, or, that banks offer. It, in that example, you, that requires that you put 3.5% down, okay? And the bank will be giving you the 96.5% as a mortgage. So 3.5% of $100,000, is 3500 this is just really math like literally like fifth grade math okay now the bank will give you the 96500 let you borrow it and charge you some interest right if they're giving you if they are giving you their money they should be paid right that's interest Nothing wrong with paying a little interest as long as it helps you get to your end goal, which is the um, ideally a cash flow generating asset, but whatever the property is. They're letting you borrow their money. They need to be compensated for allowing you to use their money. Okay? All right. So, so you have the 3500 in. The bank puts the rest. And then the bank is going to put a lien on your property. It's still your property. It's just you can't sell it without them getting paid. So they're gonna they're gonna file a um, they're gonna put have a lien on this property and until you pay them off plus their interest. Okay. But the asset is still yours. Now, if this was an investment property and you had to put a larger down payment down. Then, for example, you, you put 20% down because it's an investment property. Then that's $20,000 you put down of your money. And then the bank put the other 80K. Again, same scenario. You're going to pay them interest for, letting, um, for allowing you to use their money, but you own the asset. Ideally, this is a cash flow generating asset and it's spitting out money. Okay? Or you and your humans live there. That's how down payments work. 